What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and apparently according to Izzy there is a new game in Japan right now which is looking like it's going to be the next Pokemon or maybe not that in specific terms but a game that seems like it's kind of taking the same steps as Pokemon and doing really well in the process so once again this will be in the description and from the post that he sent me new Japanese game on the rise outsells Pokemon now making its way to America that you know, you know, the significance of that sentence is pretty damn massive. Outselling Pokemon in Japan, but you know, let's not take his word for it for now. Let's just go to the GameStop article. They'll definitely, I mean, the GameSpot article, excuse me. I always get those two mixed up. Let's see exactly what's going on here. So, Nintendo is bringing a Japanese hit, Yokai Watch, to the 3DS in the US. And this is a big plus for me, of course, because I do prefer handheld titles, but let's see exactly what's going on here. Pokemon Like RPG from Professor Layton Inazuma 11, developer level five, is being released outside of Japan. So just judging from this little screenshot that we have right here, it looks like it's a charming series, but is it going to be my cup of tea though? Like I said, I really don't like Pokemon all that much right now, simply for the fact that they baby you in a lot of the game. And I feel like it's a bit unnecessary considering it's one of the biggest franchises on the planet. But either way, that's not, that's not up for me to decide. Nintendo has announced plans to release Level 5's hit RPG, Yokai Watch, outside of Japan, including the United States and Europe. So how long has this series been running on for? Originally launched on the 3DS back in 2013, Yokai Watch has become a huge sensation, drawing comparisons to Pokemon. In addition to the two games that have been released so far, Yokai Watch 2 debuted last summer. Manga toys and ongoing anime series have helped to capitalize on the franchise's popularity. So it's an RPG centered around a boy who receives a watch that allows him to interact with invisible yokai who look like everything from mythical creatures to inanimate objects. In the press release, Nintendo insists that these are not ghosts, monsters, or creatures. Um, yokai are quite simply yokai. They cannot be seen by the human eye, but they are everywhere. Whether born from a soul of a deceased human or an everyday object discovering its higher purpose, their personalities are distinctly human-like. They're fucking demons. They're fucking demons. And <laughs> they kind of get... Do you guys remember the fucking pastor who was talking about Pokemon and how, like, they were spawns of Satan? I can see that kind of shit being drawn from this. But, you know, then again, I don't know. I mean, I'm just being a fool. But in all reality, I, I, I mean, I think it could work. It seems like it's a little bit more of a cultural... Like, there's more of a cultural hold on this than Pokemon from what it looks like, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. If they're bringing it to America, they must obviously have a way to make it more localized. In other words, they're essentially phantom monsters that you can befriend and summon to fight hostile yokai. Not exact, not entirely unlike Pokemon. So, Nintendo didn't announce an international release date, and it's only saying that it's coming to the United States, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Latin America, and Korea. So, since they didn't really seem to include any video or whatever, I want to actually take a look at this game myself. So we're going to just load this up on YouTube. I mean, of course, if GameSpot is covering it, then this thing definitely must be legit. So if it came out in 2013 as well, it actually must be a really fresh kind of model, unlike Pokemon, which is basically the same, you know, format from, 2000, from what, 1998? First Pokemon game? 1996, I think. So let's see, Yokai Watch. We're gonna go to YouTube. Yo Watch. Apparently, there's an anime too. Um, all right, so we're just gonna watch a little bit of this guy's Let's Play. Let's see exactly what's going on here. Um, I want to see what the gameplay is like. A nearby forest or woods you can find something called a dungo. And I wish I could read Japanese. The uh, story of previous games that I've played. Let's but see what the gameplay, like the battles. Alright, L and R to red tape the camera. Like RPG style brings up a little Alright, seems like we can say so rather than the ye old media on the yeah. Oh by the way, shout out to this, to this guy, oh, Rising okay. Fun Gaming. For so covering this, stylus around the bottom here. it's good to always. Just I mean, you guys know this already, but I mean, okay. it's definitely good to always get some kind of idea of what a game is like before you buy it. I guess we have. I mean, to I just want to see what the hell the gameplay is. I mean, is it like turn-based strategy? Or Fast forward. Quinn. It seems like there's like an exploration type function of the game. Must be the greenskeeper. Yeah, oh, great. That you should try. Gameplay. Literally, I think it means it doesn't have kanji, but big forest. Oh, and it can scare other ones away. Well, there's an important lesson. So you can actually go bug catching in this game, which. <laughs> Got it. 
Oh, I could have sworn. It almost about puts it. you in mind of uh, Satoshi Tajiri, who <laughs> said that he created Pokemon based on the idea oh, of bug catching as a kid. Interesting stuff here. So I guess this is when the kid okay, sees his first Okay, just to recap what happened there, he came across- What is this? How to find some- Whoa, what's this? To approach the hit bottom screen, we've got some- bit. Thank you so much for so joining. So far, it doesn't seem like we've seen I'll a battle see yet. Next time. Let's watch episode two. Hi everyone, this is Rising Van Gaia in your- So they'll fight until they've got- They'll fight until they run out of their winning energy that says literally I think we're in a battle now. Okay. I'm sorry I'm like making you guys watch do a video with me, but I definitely okay, so want to see this gameplay firsthand. What's the battles like? And, all right, so we'll go. I think it's always better to just okay. get in and learn through practice now. Okay, I gotta touch it. Tatakal, that's to fight. Boom. Okay, it says Waza. Okay, so if I tap my bug friend. Okay, there's Waza. Skill to the top left. Who to use it against? Oh, who to mm. use? Okay. Want the Cicada to use it? Wait a minute, so I'm understanding this. Um, if you guys remember, the kid was like hunting for a cicada. I didn't realize it was cicada until he managed to say it right now, but um, he was hunting for a bug, and then it turns out that a yokai came through, and next thing you know now that he's seeing... It's a little bit strange to put your finger on it, but I can uh, see where the appeal comes in. The fact that you can find these yokai anywhere and they can be integrated with anything, it kind of does, you know, have a lot of the feel of Pokemon. Whereas, you know, Pokemon differ by area, and you can see how the area has the influence on the Pokemon themselves. It makes sense. Okay, that didn't look good. <laughs> Realized that of course. Cool. The battle system looks a bit slow for me, but Pokemon's battle system is slow too, and that's one of the most addicting games out there. So, I don't know. It's a little bit too early to tell. That's all I'm going to look at the game for now. I don't know, I mean, I just feel like I won't be able to get the full experience or the understanding of the game if I'm watching it in Japanese. And that's why I really don't play through Japanese games. Because, you know, for me, a lot of the experience is just, you know, keeping up with the text, knowing exactly what's going on, which can enhance a game by a lot. So, it's too early to judge for me, but what do you guys think? If you do manage to speak Japanese, or you do live in the Japanese region, and you have played this game, let me know your opinions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.